Hello my YouTube subscribers, I'm here with another e-liquid review. It is the first day of spring as I'm recording this and in North Dakota style we are having a snowstorm. We got about an inch of snow outside, an inch of added snow outside. So winter hasn't really stopped. I decided to wear my Game of Thrones shirt to commemorate that winter is still coming. Today I'm going to be reviewing Peach Cobbler which was the uh, most voted uh, e-liquid in the last couple of videos. I'm kind of running votes together now, but uh, I don't think that's a big problem. This is a Thunderhead Vapor e-liquid, and I gotta tell you, I've already opened this, and it smells really, really good. I'm looking at the consistency, the viscosity, the density of the liquid, and it seems pretty light, so I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be around... Uh, 70-30 usually tends to be the the uh, uh, ratio when they're uh, lighter like that. We'll take a look at uh, the little bit of graham cracker I have left. And you can see it's a little bit thicker, and that's 50-50. And this just drips right off. This flows through. So it's got to be more uh, propylene glycol in it. It's got a nice orange coloration to it. And... Um, you know, it's, other than that, it's relatively uh, transparent. And I've opened this up, and it just smells fantastic. Uh, so, one second. Sorry about that. As I was saying, I had already opened this, and, well, I'm not giving you, like, the uh, most uh, virgin experience of my uh, reaction here. Um, I, gotta, I still got to say this smells really good. Let's go ahead and take a whiff out of the bottle. And right away, I get like a nice peach uh, flavor uh, scent. It smells really good. It's got kind of a buttery, um, oh man, a crust scent to it. Oh man, it just smells. It smells really, really good. And uh, they got a picture of it on their web page and. When you look at the picture, you kind of think that's exactly what I'm smelling here. That um, uh, flaky, uh, crusty, and uh, sugary cinnamon mixed with uh, fresh peaches. Because the, the peach scent doesn't smell uh, too uh, artificial. It actually has a nice uh, peach, and uh, it does have a slight uh, nectarine uh, tone to it. So it smells really, really good. Uh, got a nice fresh 18650. And uh, cleaned out my Aga T2. February's coming up, so I'm going to be looking at uh, possibly another RBA. Um, but we'll worry about that in February. Not February. Why do I keep thinking February? March, April. April. So you can see that the density of the, the fluid isn't exactly really, really dense. And I'm, I'm betting it's going to be around 60-40, uh, 70-30. I'd lean more towards 70-30. Uh, There's hardly any pull on it. Yeah, it comes out really, really quick. Let's go ahead and prime the wicks. And I'll fill this up. And it uh, should vape really good. Should anyway. Always takes a little while because I just use clean, plain old uh, tap water. Hmm. It's got a nice peach flavor to it. I'll get the water out of the wicks. It's 18 milligrams of nicotine, so it's going to be a little 
hard on the throat hit for me. You know, I try and stick to below 15, <coughs> 15 or below. But um, one more, one more vape on this. Smells really good when vaped. Um, I seem to be missing some of that buttery cut crust flavor on my tongue, but when I uh, smell the vapor, I smell it. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Um, definitely got some of that down. Uh, crusty flavor. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> A little too much nicotine for me. Now the peach flavor is actually pretty good. Um, <coughs> it's got, like I said before, it's got kind of a, a, a touch of, um, nectarine to it um but i might be um splitting hairs here and it might be just that inside of the peach that's right by the pit which uh to me tastes tastes a little bit more like that than it smells like that um uh, how can i describe the peach flavor it's it's not too much like a a, a pie filling but it's not uh, so um, uh, so forced natural peach flavor either. It's kind of a mix of both. Like you like you got good uh, fresh peach flavor inside a, a, a peach sauce kind of flavor. The, uh, man, what is it? Is it cobbler? Whatever it is, the, the buttery, flaky, bready crust in there. Um, it's, it's pretty good, too. It's got, it, it's got a nice, uh, um, buttery flavor to it that's not, uh, it's not too strong. Yeah, this is good. This is really tasty. <coughs> Excuse me, just a little bit too much nicotine for me. It's got quite a quite a strong throat hit for me. Um, overall, though, this is a, actually a really enjoyable flavor. Uh, as for like a, a presentation of a peach cobbler, um, I can't say it's 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 exact. You know, there's some flavors out there that have just like a, a an exact. Uh, representation of what, what they're trying to imitate. And I think this does a, a, a good job, but it doesn't do that, oh, this is exactly like a, a peach collar job. And, um, uh, it's got a pretty good aftertaste. It's got a nice peachy aftertaste. One more vape on it. At least one more vape on it, because it's an enjoyable flavor. I really like that there's this, a nice spike of uh, natural peach flavor in there. It tastes it tastes really good. It doesn't taste overly uh, candied. Um, it tastes like there's uh, actual peach slices in there, and I, I think that it does a really good job of uh, presenting uh, a real peach flavor. As for the rest of it, though, the cobbler, though. Um, uh, I gotta say, I, I eat peach cobbler uh, once in a while, and uh, I don't think this does a, a an exact representation. I would give it about a ninety percent. Um, it, you know, it's it's good. It's definitely enjoyable. 
for my personal perspective, <coughs> 18 milligrams is a lot. From my personal perspective, if you're looking for a direct peach cobbler flavor, I don't think you're going to find it in in this, but uh, you're going to find a, a, a very similar flavor to peach cobbler. It's, it's good. It's enjoyable. And um, I, I probably will vape on this. Um, however, considering, excuse me, considering it's such a, low density fluid I'll probably be adding vegetable glycerin to this I got I still got a ton of vegetable glycerin and that will reduce the flavor a little bit but it'll also bring down the uh, the nicotine content for me now I was over at the web page here let me open up the web page here and the prices over here at Thunderhead are amazing this bottle is uh, 694 for 15 milliliters I'm guessing this is a 15 milliliter bottle uh, for 30 milliliters, it's 11.94, and I don't think that's bad at all. I think those are actually really good prices. Um, you know, this will last me a, a few days. Uh, when I dilute it with some vegetable glycerin, it'll last me even longer, and I think that's okay. Um, there's no other options to to uh, add like uh, different added flavor or anything like that. Uh, the nicotine contents are 0, 6, 12, 18, and 24. And uh, you know, I'll probably stick to 12 or, or 18 and dilute it with uh, vegetable glycerin. Um, i got to say one thing, though. If you've ever had canned peaches, this doesn't taste like canned peaches. Canned peaches are atrocious to me. I just absolutely despise canned peaches. And uh, I, I'm not getting that flavor of that uh, peach that's just been stewing in can and whatever candied fluid that they put in there. I can't stand canned peaches. I absolutely can't. So it's nice to get that, uh, that uh, sharp citrusy tang that comes with a real peach. And uh, I'm definitely finding that in here. I really enjoy that. It, it vapes okay. Um, you know, I'm used to like 50 50. Um, this is okay. Um, I've seen better. I've definitely seen better vapor production in fluids, but um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's an alright flavor. That's not bad. I'd give it a thumbs up. Would I personally hunt down uh, Peach Cobbler again and buy it? Probably not. But what I would do is go over to Thunderhead Vapor and look at the other flavor selections. Uh, they have really good prices. Uh, you know, I can I can say that they have really good prices. And um, you know, this flavor isn't. It's probably not my type of flavor, but uh, it might be your type of flavor. And it's good enough that I'd like to see what else they have. So one of these reviews, I might buy a huge order from Thunderhead Vapor and uh, just do a whole bunch of uh, Thunderhead Vapor uh, reviews. Now, I still got quite a few other flavors to review. One second, I got to get one more vape on this because this is, this is a pretty good flavor. Oh, it's pretty good, yeah. Still got quite a few other flavors to review yet. I got uh, Sweet Tooth from Alpha Vape. And I really enjoy it when you guys pick out my flavors because I don't know what to do. I got so many of them right now. I got uh, Snake Venom from Seduce Juice. I know someone's already mentioned that they want to see me review this. So I'm counting that. I got uh, Calypso from Lick Brand Vapors. And another commenter's already mentioned that they want to see me do that. So I got one of those. I got to vote for one of those each. And I got uh, Razzle Dazzle from Mount Baker Vapor. And I got to be honest, I really like the vapor production from Mount Baker Vapor. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, no, I'm letting Apple Ring steep. And then I got Grappler from uh, Mount Baker Vapor. Is that it? I got all these partial bottles that I got <laughs> that I've, I've saved a little bit of. 
the rest of my bottles look like this. This is root beer, by the way. This was fantastic, and <laughs> I'm saving it like my like I'm saving graham cracker because I just love these flavors and I want to hold on to them so I can come back to them and just be like, ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, pick one of the flavors. I'll put the list in the comments section. I'm dropping flavors. And uh, if you like this video, leave me a like. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Pick a, pick a flavor I should review in the comments. Uh, I do try to respond to all my commenters. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, after recording this video, I looked. I have over 400 subscribers. You guys, that's, that's amazing. That's awesome. I'm just doing this for, for fun, for uh, shits and giggles. This is just a, a fun thing to do. But uh, having over 400 subscribers, that's totally awesome. So if you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe now. And who knows, maybe in April I'm going to get that I go L or I go W. And uh, I'll do a hardware review on that. Until next video, bye.